Hi everyone, Tanya Hertz here. I'm the director of the Rec Innovation Lab at San Diego Miramar College and professor of entrepreneurship at Miramar and at San Diego State University. We're gonna go ahead now and talk a little bit about ideation today, the process of coming up with new ideas, evaluating those ideas and um, evaluating them in terms of our, uh, of, of not just our guesses, right? We're turning our guesses into actual uh, evidence, into, into verifiable, uh, facts that we can use to support our case about why our idea is a good idea. So the way that we start with that uh, or that process is by coming up with some new ideas. And if any of you are entrepreneurial or feel like you're entrepreneurial, you'll probably uh, be like me in that you come up with new ideas all the time. And it's not a question of coming up with an idea. It's a question of choosing which idea you'd like to pursue. And so we have uh, systems that we can use to do that. And these systems are tried and true. They're based on uh, lots of data that shows uh, that this is an effective way to, to validate our assumptions, to make sure that what we think is a good idea is a good idea. So you start this process. Uh, a good way to start this process, what I like to do is I like to do a bug report, I call it. And um, like it sounds the creepy probably bugs, but it's more about what bugs you. People do not buy products or services. People buy solutions to problems. And really they buy uh, stories about solutions to problems. Uh, think about uh, buying uh, lemonade at a lemonade stand. Are you buying that lemonade at a lemonade stand because of the quality of the lemonade? Are you buying the lemonade at the lemonade stand because of uh, uh, the price of the lemonade? No. You're, not, you're buying it because those little kids are adorable. Uh, they're, they're, they're cute, right? You, you want to support them and you want to support their entrepreneurial spirit. And so you buy it because of the story. You buy it because of the story. So uh, we want to make sure that we are, uh, we're able to share that. And uh, we're going to start with uh, coming up with uh, some problems that we can solve. Uh, you never want to create a um, you know, create a business and then, and then shove that business down the throats of, of the users and buyers. That's the Mad Men era of advertising and of business. And instead, we want to solve a problem for people um, and solve the problem thoroughly for, for something that they have an, a, a real pain about. So let's uh, start our bug report and start our ideation process. I'm going to share my screen. So if you wouldn't mind pulling up your bug report, your bug report is, uh, is located in the Canvas class shell. And if you, when you get into the assignment, you can see here that there are links that will take you to your bug report. Uh, this is the first step in the process. Uh, the next step will be the idea napkin. Um, so you can click on either of these uh, bug reports to download them, right? And once you download them, you can go ahead and open them up. And this will take you to a PDF report that you can fill out. And you'll start by putting your name. Tanya. Uh, the, you have to download it first. I should, I should have said this, or did I? Yeah, you download it first. It won't let you, it may not let you actually make a copy or, or change, make modifications to that report until you actually download it. It might actually even make you make a copy when you do that. You might have to go through this and then do finder. <laughs> Right, and look at your look for your downloads. Look for today's downloads, and then get that bug report there. However, it makes you do it. So, if we do that. There, oopla, there's the bug report. You can fill it out from there. Uh, you want to then oopla, start by listing ten things that bug you. When I say ten things that bug you, I don't mean. Uh, don't think about is there a business solution to this? Or I have to uh, think of a cer way, certain things that will be easy to, to come up with a solution or that I can build a, a company around. No, just think of things that bug you. I was thinking, okay, what are things that bug me? Well, I can't stand when people chew loudly. I can't stand um, bad mask breath, right? And then uh, uncomfortable shoes. I'm on my feet all day. And uh, I also hear a lot from students who are going out dancing and things like this, that their feet just hurt at the, uh, at the end of the night. And so that bugs me, right? So once you have those 10 things, pick two of the things that both bug you and that interest you. So people who chew loudly, 
I don't want to start a business around that. I don't want to be focused on people chewing loudly. Oh, I just can't imagine listening to, but no, I don't want to do that. Skip. Next one. Bad mass breath. No, I don't want to start a business around that. Does not interest me enough. I can't see, see spending my life on this. But the uncomfortable shoe thing, I could see, I could see picking that. Cause I really, I love to go out dancing. I love, um, I like shoes a lot. I, I could get passionate around this. I'm going to pick that one. So we should have 10 there. So I, I would pick two. Once you have those two, you move on to section three, describe a business solution that, oh, so I would put dancing. Let me, let's pretend that I actually put this in. Yada, yada, yada. Number two, I picked uh, the shoes, right? So shoes. Uncomfortable shoes, well, you fill it all out, right? So then uh, now I'm gonna think of a business solution to this. This might be one thing that you might have to bounce this off with other people. Um, I, uh, I can think of a solution to, um, to, to that problem of, of uncomfortable shoes, especially when we go out dancing. Um, so I, I, I would say that um, a business solution to that might be some portable slippers, right? Portable slippers that I can carry with me when I do go out dancing. We'll make that my solution. So uh, my business solution to one of the two things that bug me are portable slippers. And uh, from there, this is so important and this is where most people don't take step number four and get way down that rabbit hole before they ever even do this. And it's such a shame when they do this. But uh, number four is search Google to see if your solution is unique. If not, you need to pivot. So this is really important uh, to, to search thoroughly and search it in such a way that you actually get to other business solutions. You're trying to find out if your solution is unique. So that means you need to find all of the competition who's already making portable slippers to carry with you when you go out dancing. So what I recommend doing is when you're searching things that you search them just the same way that you speak. So you go into Google and you actually type into Google um, slippers. Slipper, or let's do even portable slippers, portable slippers, portable slippers um, for sore feet. I said already there was a sore, for, for sore feet. I can even put one dancing. I could put lots of different things, but I will look a lot of different ways, look a lot of different ways and see if there are um, portable slippers that people can take with them, right? Portable. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Backup soles. Ah, there we go. Foldable shoes. Yeah. 67. Okay. Now I know that solution is not unique. The third thing on Google, there's 67 foldable uh, portable slippers to take with you. Eesh, nope, nope, not gonna do it, not gonna do it. We're gonna have to find something else. And that's when I put in something really specific. So we're gonna go back to our back to our drawing board and we're gonna think, okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pivot. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to think, what, what's another thing that we could do? Okay, so we could say here, we actually, um, we found, yeah. Yeah, so we found, uh, found found many 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 competitors. Pivot, pivoting, right? Pivoting, and then now let's think of ways that we can pivot. So we want something unique. So we're gonna pivot. Now I already put this in here. An idea that I had for pivoting might be a shoe insert that doubles um, both as a comfortable insole that goes inside of our, our shoes and could be a slipper, a traveling slipper, a portable slipper. That's what we need, right? So now I take that and I, I, I Google it. I go back into Google, I search it again. Are there, are there shoe inserts? Are there uh, shoe inserts that double as as both insoles and uh, slippers. Go back to Google, type that in, look as much as you can. When you, when you found that there are not um, others who are doing exactly the same thing, or if, if there are um, maybe one or two others, we could put that, we could uh, you know, say, this is our solution. So our solution is, oops, and I put that many times, didn't mean to, um, our, our shoes, shoe uh, inserts that double, 
is portable slippers. Um, and there's now I would say when I go, I'm going to just go Google it and show you. Um, when I Google that, that there's none exactly like it. Uh, I shouldn't. We have room. I don't want to spend too long here, but shoe inserts, the double is portable slippers. Are there anything like that? No, I've done this already. I went through and I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked. There's so many shoe inserts. None of them actually can you then just take them outside of your shoe and start walking on the ground with them. They just do, it doesn't exist. And so I would then go back to my bug report and say that it just does not exist. That's it's totally it's unique. It's unique. No others identical. No others identical. Right. And I talk about it. Okay, perfect. Now I have my my completed bug report. I have to save this and make sure that when you save it, you save it with the answers in there. Once the answers are saved, you go back to the assignment, go back to your assignment in Canvas, and you now uh, submit it. So you click on um, Google search, it uh, start assignment, go up to here, click on start assignment. There it is, start assignment. I can do one of two things. I can either upload that file that I just saved to my desktop, or if I uh, had opened this in a Google uh, Docs file, I can put the URL in the text entry box. If, um, but let's say I, let's say I actually did both. You can uh, upload the file there and then even go to the text entry and put a little note in here. Note, see, whatever. Eh, not necessary though. I'm just gonna upload the file, push, then submit there, and I'm done. That's it. So good luck on this. I can't wait to read which uh, ideas you've come up with. Just know that whatever you come up with on this last, this last uh, innovative solution that you share with me, I will Google this, right? I'm gonna do just like, like you did. I will Google it. And if you did not tell me um, that you had a couple other competitors and, and this is who they are, uh, I'm going to let you know and, and might make you actually pivot again. So make sure that you are unique enough. You know, one or two competitors that are doing something similar, not a big deal, but it can't be ubiquitous and it can't be uh, identical. All right, so that's that. That's your first step in the ideation process. This is how we come up with innovative solutions and uh, really create those gazelle type businesses. All right, take care, everyone. Can't wait. All right, I will stop the video there.